Please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon, and never miss an update from. So hey, what's happening, SPG sir? So welcome back to Passionate Geeks. So guys, this is going to be a very informative video because in this video, I'm going to talk about the partitions in Android, or you can say the system partitions and the user partitions. So if you don't know what are system partitions and what are user partitions, then I'll recommend you to watch the video entirely because this is going to be a very helpful video if you don't know anything about the partitions. So uh, basically we have two types of partition, uh, system partitions and the user partitions. Uh, to uh, give you example of user partitions, you can uh, take your laptop storage. Right? Now suppose you have a 1 TB of storage and which consists of only one drive. Like there is you have a laptop of 1 TB of storage but there is only a 2 drive which consists of 500 GB each. But you have a lot of data to manage. You have uh, different files, different music files, different uh, photos. So now you have only two options. Either you can uh, manage all your data in both drives or you can create a separate or you can divide drives for each of allocation. For example, if we have a 1 TB of storage, I can create a 250 GB drives for four drives, right? Uh, or I can create a six drives. So these are called user partitions. Next, we have a system partition. So again, taking an example of your Windows operating system or any operating system. So system also have some reserved storage for operating system, which consists of your boot, your CD-ROM, your root folder, uh, your your libraries file, and there are other partitions also but so same goes with android same concept goes with a uh, android device so if you have your android device right now you just go to your phone storage menu which where you can see uh, the lot of storage for example uh, let me show you my uh, phone <coughs> so i have this uh, redmi device so if you go to your settings and uh, go to the about phone menu and go to the storage you'll see a system storage there and uh, for example I have this 32 uh, uh, gigs of storage phone uh, if you see the system storage is 6.84 which is reserved by system I cannot use that storage I cannot add music file to it I cannot add any my personal data into this so why this storage is reserved and what is this storage consist of so as I'm talking about the system storage in Android, so these storage also have the partitions. So if you have a root access, then you can see there are seven to eight major partitions, which is used by your system, which consists of your boot, your recovery, your uh, user data, or you can say your vendor. And there is also three more we don't uh, go in that deep how the system work and uh, how this flows goes we just uh, here uh, we just uh, reboot our device and start using it or yeah. like we don't uh, care what things goes uh, into this so for that we have also flow because without flow nothing works and these all system partitions combine together and boot your device up so this is a very basic or a simple knowledge that you should have because if you are an Android user and you are and you want to know how this system works if you have interest in Android and want to know how two things work then the partitions you must know how partitions work what partitions are so this video is for only this purpose to give you example of how partitions work and how this partitions are what are system partitions and the user partitions so this is guys, I know this video is a bit lengthy, but this is an informative video. So don't expect like entertainment, entertainment here. So if you're new to channel, I would please like, please share and please subscribe. So I can create more content like that. And like the video, please press the subscribe button, do likes and do shares. Thanks for watching guys. See you.